Hello YouTube fans, back again. I figured I'd have talked about the tacit original Return of the Living Dead. Why not? Return of the Living Dead Part 2. So, two years later, this is a worthy sequel. A lot of people think of Return of the Living Dead, they think of the original. But I've got no photos of the second Return of the Living Dead. I remember when I first saw it on Sty Movies. This was when Sty was worth a shit. And it was on that Halloween night and it was a comedy zombie film. And to be honest, I loved it. And I still love it now. It's tougher. It's unique. And it's, again, it's a comedy and a zombie film. <coughs> See how excited I am? Even I'm thinking of brains. Again, you've got another zombie. Similar to the original one, Brains. It starts off with your typical teenager, which funny enough was the same teenager that appeared in the blob. Same there. And you know, he's your typical kid, he's got DC comics and he wants to get with a dang. It's, I don't know why, because the dang is a bit of a dick. This lad is your typical fucking bully boy. He's a bully. And, long behold, they lock him in the cemetery. Now, the thing I do love about this one is you've got two actors from the original being two different characters. And I love the way they manipulate you. There's a scene in it where a guy says, You better do as you're told if you love this job. Love this job? Now, if you've seen the original one, they say this that same line, what they said, in that. But I just loved the way they did that. It made it different and it made it unique. The only thing I didn't like was the one that made the lad's turf end. She was whining, she was annoying, and to put it bluntly, she got on me fucking tits. But I remember it in um, Killer Towns from Outer Space. I preferred it in that. I preferred it in a lot of other horror films she appeared in, but just in this, I just thought, even though she's supposed to be funner, she then with those bits uh, irritating, and she was one of them sort of deals where you end up fucking on the dumper because you do your fucking head in. But I do like Return of the Living Dead Part 2. I remember a poster back in the days of rentable video shops, and the poster were like that, and it had a child. I can't find a DVD at the moment, and I can't be half lucky, but it's somewhere there if I could show it you. Might show it you another time. But it had a child and it went all the way up with a Sterigen's face. And you know what it reminded me of? Fright Night from 85 or the second one with a child's face and the fangs and a steamy vampire. I fucking swear it reminded me of Fright Night. The only difference is it was Return of the Living Dead Part 2. I love that ironic poster. To me, it sold it. It fucking sold it. I love the humour in it. I love the fact that you have one somber doing a dance and looking like Michael Tatsun. And that's something else. The zombies in this look better. They look a hell of a lot better. It makes it more unique and it makes it more different. Again, I can go with these zombies dancing and looking silly because it was a zombie comedy. Comedy. See, this is why I have issues with the third one. I didn't think it was trying to be too serious and it was trying to go too into horror, where the other two was more your typical comedy mixed with horror. Which, for that time, it was different. And it was a different gnome for a comedy zombie film to be thrown in as horror and comedy. To cut the story short, you've got the bully boy. Who turns into a somber and bites his mum's head. So long for PC Fenler. Bites his mum's head and you get the idea. He had her brains. <coughs> See I'm even burping. Just thinking of brains. Kind of a bit here and there which is similar. The same lad who was in the first one. He turns into a somber. His mate turns into a somber. Just like in the first one. He tries to attack his dirt end. Just like the first one. The only difference is, he just bite a brain. But that made me happy because, again, 
she kind of got on my tits. It was one of them sort of Riney Durvens, which after a bit, she'd fucking annoy the shit out of her. And she fucking would. But all in all, I think it's a dud film. you got the sister, who's a big sister to the little lad, the one from the blob. And at first, if you find it a bit bitsy, a bit annoying, but then as the film goes on, you get the light of, you get the light of her old bear. And um, they save the day. You get this janky, scented old die, and the letter to um, one of the eat brains, and they turn the zombies into fucking fence fires. I love the song at the end. You bound to be the night, night the night you want to bite. Does not doing a shit job? And it's a good zombie film. It's a worthy sequel. Again, that we not really keen on the third one. It's hard to be too serious, and it has a downbeat ending. But this one has a funny ending. It's a happy, lively ending. Let's not forget, there's one soldier in it with a bald head, a bit like me, and um, he was the one who played in Next Files, the TV series. He also played in Soccer, the West Haven film, Soccer, the one that played Pinker, the killer. The killer. Yeah, he was in this. Never knew that until I re saw it. But yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I remember when I first saw it on Star Movies back in the early 90s when Star was worth a fuck. Nowadays, it ain't worth chat shit. But, in all fairness, Return of the Living Dead 2 is a worthy sequel. You got a poster, similar to like Fright Night, next to a pair of semi deadly stones. The, the DVD will be there somewhere, I just got my ass fishing it out. One day after so you why, I've got about loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of DVDs. So it'd be somewhere there. But in all in all, it is a worthy sequel. They have been out guys like the original you the, the, the music, but I've never known seen the difference. But then again, it's like that in the original. About the the, the, the music in that. I'd have to look that up one day and see what the difference is. Because there is a review on number one where someone actually did show the difference of the person on the video to the DVD. But I still think they're dud. I think they're solid. And I think Return of the Living Dead Part 2 is a worthy sequel. Doesn't have a shitty downbeat ending. A little bit here and there what are similar to the first one. That you've got two actors from the first one being a different character. But all in all, it's a dud. And because of that, I'll give it a fopping 5 star rating. Because it's more entertaining in some of the rubbish you see nowadays. Other than that, have a good one.